Hello guys, this is your Uncle Big Fish, and on this video we'll be talking about the changes on Mystic. This will be her buffs and everything else included. Uh, yeah, this is gonna be a request from Milo. Thank you so much for the support. Uh, Alright, so now, uh, by the way, Milo's from North America, so huge thanks uh, for uh, the community that, uh, for my North American uh, viewers and uh, Huge help, can't do this without you. Let's talk about Amigu changes, I mean Amigu, uh, but Mystic changes, and we'll talk more about it um, after thorough testing. Um, uh, fun fact, I've actually lost quite a few games uh, testing out new stuff. Because <laughs> I was really trying just to get that particular combo to work, and that particular strategy to work. I also did some really weird runs where I'm literally just using like, one skill uh, the entire game. It was... Um, it was quite funny, but for some reason it kind of works, which is hilarious, knowing that a class can literally uh, beat most uh, noobs with just one skill. Yep, absolutely insane change, yeah. Alright, now let's go see the changes on Mystic. Okay, this one, obviously we knew about it. Remove MP cost. Now this one is quite prevalent, especially for her matchups against mana breaks, especially against Lotus, against Paladins, like this really, really made her super strong, especially against those classes. Like she was already super, super strong even without um, this. Like even when Paladin could break her mana or Lotus could break her mana, she was already super strong because those classes that break her mana needs to combo her first before they are able to actually like drain her mana. And this thing completely removes that weakness, so that is one thing that, well, she can do now, basically. Dragon's Breath is just a PvE skill, it doesn't really matter a lot. Perseverance. Now, this one is going to be one thing that I'm going to be talking about. Previously, in the old, uh, the first Mystic rework, sorry about that, let me just go back into my room so I can relax a bit. I mean, go back outside so I can smoke. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, before all the changes of uh, this Mystic that we got today, Mystic can already do a one-shot combo. It was already very possible. I think I've shown the video somewhere um, in the past. You can just look it up. Now, that video, you can one-shot people with that particular same combo. You can do it, like now. It's, it's a very possible. For that but with this now it becomes a lot easier for you to do that now the thing that changes is there are new classes that were released from then compared to now there's a total of six classes that was in, that was added into the game after uh, the last uh, mystic buff uh, yeah and because of that those classes the newer ones they all get the damage reduction passives that's why it's you might think like oh I don't hit that that hard anymore. It's not that you don't hit that hard, but there's more classes, the ones that are more common in the arenas, they're capable of, well, holding your attacks because they have so much damage reduction. And some most of them get some, like passive buffs from it. They get like uh, buffs from like getting damage reduction or reducing your attack or in one way or the other. And because of that, you, you might feel like Mystic doesn't hit as hard as how she used to now. But that's not true, because with this new passive that was added, at 100 MP or more, Dragon Punch, Somersault Kick, Dragon's Breath, and Fear Dive, and Flying Exit consumes all MP to summon Azure Dragon. Now, this is crazy, because you, first you need to know what this thing does, alright? So now I will explain what this does. Now, if you see in your skills, you will see here the damage, the PvP damage per hit, 476 times 3. This one is the base power of the skill. Let's use something else as a reference, so it's like gonna be a lot, a lot easier. Now, this one, flow overcharge. This is a flow, right? Now, the skill itself is the one at the very front. 434% four, four damage per hit at level two. Now, this one hits five times. Now, what this dragon does is that it increases, basically doubling that. That is what they double. So, but for this one's instance, this part, the flow, is not included, and the branches are not included. However, the, the skill itself, the initial skill itself, does have both the flow and the branch. So imagine just getting bonus damage 
of the things and at the left the bonus damage now that would be total of four let's call that 450 450 times 10 that's gonna be like 4500 and we can divide that by two so it's gonna be somewhere around 2000 uh, 250 somewhere around that area yeah so around that area for like two two thousand something percent which is a lot because that's just bonus damage like free just bonus free damage literally and all of this in my experience can crit it can I don't know how I can explain it to you but I've done something stupid like 80% of the enemy's HP with one stagger I'm quite sure that it crits the Ahab procs and I got a maximum roll on that one that's some fucked up shit like seriously okay so 80% is probably like exaggeration probably like 70% I'm quite sure it's it's 60% at least of the enemy at the enemy's HP from a single skill now that is fucked up man like seriously that is fucked up that is actually fucked up because <laughs> when you put a hit means you you use um, you triple the base power of the skill because you get the, uh, the bonus uh, of this thing plus if it crits you multiply that by another uh, 2.15 times so such as speaking that on itself is already somewhere around oh shit 29,000 roughly 29,200 just like if you get a maximum roll that's the kind of damage that you're doing 29,000 percent that's absolutely broken like that that is the maximum roll of this skill and in case you guys want to know what what it takes to one shot people in normal arenas with zero percent reduce it's 40,000 percent damage 40,000 percent damage will one shot anything with zero percent reduce 44,000 to one shot people with uh, four with uh, ten percent reduce, and so on and so forth. Now this thing is insane. Now what you need to do is to set up with the rest of your skills. Like knee thrust, this one in particular increases your DP, so this doesn't actually equate to your damage. But what what does is this the somersault kick increases your AP, and you might think, oh, is this AP forty? It's not a lot. It's a lot. Because in arenas, you all have balanced CP. Most cases, we would say everyone has 100 CP. That is everyone's CP in normal arenas. And just put that as, just imagine that for a second. And you increase your CP by 40. Now, that is insane. And this one in particular, decreased AP, so this doesn't actually increase your damage. Dragon Punch things and increases AP as well. Yeah, so you can actually do like Dragon Punch and this will increase your AP even even further. And the thing that makes this Fury Dive like absolutely insane is not just the base power, but also because it's very safe to do. And why is that? This thing has a very long duration, has a decent linger as well. And also its base power is too high. So be, like people think of, like people have been telling me like Uncle Bigfish, do you have the one shot combo? One shot combo. You don't need to one shot people because most likely you can't. You can't one shot people. Why is that? Because no class in the game aside from the super super tanky ones will be able to hold one combo. You they will die. Like you will just trade them. You just trade with them a couple times and then they will be no longer in that HP range for a one shot combo. So you don't need to one shot people because you will one shot people regardless. Because you will trade a couple times with, with Fury Dive, they will take so much damage, and after they, they take so much damage, they will only have maybe like 50 or 60% HP, and by that time, you will one-shot them. You will. It's just how it is. This class is absolutely broken. I feel like I feel like I'm playing a one-sided game. Like, seriously. <laughs> it's, it's like I'm barely using my brain, and it's just... It's so strong. Like, seriously, this thing is messed up, man. Like, well, like this damage is kind of messed up. I'll just show you like a like fast clips, um, like uh, of uh, the kind of damage that I was doing to to people with zero percent reduce. All right, have you seen that? Okay, impressive. Um, yeah, that is essentially it. Now this is kind of kind of broken, guys. Like like no joke. The old buff was already broken this is even more broken like the stick is messed up like oh my god 
<sighs> I don't know how PA actually balances classes. I think they're on drugs for sure. Uh, all right, so now that we've talked about this already, let us just, I'll just move on and give you um, just a, a short, I would say, it's just a short um, arena clip, I would say it's like nine minutes or so, I think. I'm not quite sure how long it is, but I think it's about nine minutes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys again on the next one. I do need to record a couple times because I met so many white helmets or, or, or I mean people who quit like multiple times. I think I met like this one guy who keeps on quitting every single time he meets me. Like this class is giving people so much mental damage, it's fucking nuts. By the way, this one will be the best recording that I got. Uh, a lot of yellow helmets, um, gonna be pretty pretty fun. Enjoy. I'm a problem child.